What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Ghost Recon Wildlands. I was just taking a moment to appreciate how absolutely massive this world is. Like it's kind of hard to put into perspective, but if you guys take a look at our map right here, we are pretty much smack dab in the middle of everything. And this just stretches on for miles and miles and miles. This is crazy, man. So in our last couple episodes, we were dealing with the mother or the grandmother of cocaine. And we were back directly behind us, like pretty much in between those two peaks right there. And our next mission, we are going to be going straight ahead of us quite a ways over to Barvechos up in the mountains over here. So you guys can see um, this one, I believe, is the one we're going to be taking on next. But it's just, it's crazy how big this map is, man. There's so many different terrains. I mean, you've got mountainous jungles back here. You've got deserts over here. You've got water and lush green grass beneath us. It's just nuts. All right, anyway, we're going to be on our way to Barvechos. We're going to start taking on the next leg of this criminal empire. Santissima Muerte so loved the Santa Blanca cartel that she gave us her only begotten daughter, that whoever believeth in her should not perish, but have everlasting life. Many years ago, we were in trouble, in la desesperación, on the verge of extinction, being torn to pieces by the snakes and ratas. I believed that hope was lost, that it was too late for us, Era el fin. But just when I was ready to give up, it happened. Nidia Flores came forth, known to us as La Reina de Belleza, the Beauty Queen. And with her, she brought prosperity, wealth, and retribution. We feel her charity, su amor, deep in our hearts as she continues to spread her gospel across the world. To every corner of the globe, praise to Saint Nidia, Queen of Queens, Reina de Reinas, Goddess among mongrels. They say every man has a fatal flaw. El Baquita's is love. A smuggler from the age of six, El Baquita's father used to tape Acapulco gold on his son's body and then send him across the border. Jeez. He called these trips vacaciones familiares, family vacations. <laughs> By the time he was 13, Bakita was a trapeciador, a master smuggler. Cigarettes, alcohol, name brand clothes, DVDs, oil, wildlife, weapons, and of course, people. One time he even smuggled in half a kilo of yellow cake uranium. If someone wanted it, El Bakita could move it. But it was never really about the money. For him, it was the rush, until he met the beauty queen. Nidia Flores saw his talent and made him her right-hand man. Nidia was the brains, Bukita was the brawn. The thing is, he was head over heels from the moment he first laid eyes on her. Nidia never felt the same way, but one drunken night she gave in. A little bit of sperm roulette, and nine months later, they had a daughter, <laughs> Valeria. They say every man has a fatal flaw. El Bukita has two. All the Sicarios in the world ain't worth piss if you don't have the accountants to wash the money clean. Octavio Allende is the accountant that does Sueño's laundry. They call him El Pulpo, the octopus, because he's got his tentacles everywhere. You take him out, a lot of other pieces no longer connect, but I want to use him as a weapon. Pulpo is management, and he knows it. Instead of an AK-47, he has a briefcase, and he uses it to open doors to businesses, to cement relationships with politicians and police, and to make the cartel's money something they can spend. Thanks to El Pulpo, in addition to its illegal enterprises, Santa Blanca has its cash in numerous legit businesses. El Sueño has brought El Pulpo to Bolivia to audit Nidia Flores. Cash from Brazil comes into Barvechos, where much of it is laundered into the mining consortium. Nidia's profits must be looking a little light. All right, guys, here we are, the Barvechos province. This is going to be our next area of effect. We're going to find out what in the world we're doing. We're looking for some sort of intel on uh, this right over here. This little enemy hideout with the chopper. We're 
We're gonna find out what the heck is going on in this this area. Rebel hideout, La Leproseria. Hop out there. Bowman, he just crossed into Barvechos. Good news. Flanio sent an accountant named Polpo to Barvechos to check out Nidia Flores' book. Word is Polpo is a hawk. He doesn't let anyone cut any corners. Just hold up. Huh? Got him! I think that's all of them. I'm back, Bowman. What happened? Wait, you know what? Never mind. Good news. <laughs> Sueño sent an accountant named Polpo to Barvechos to check out Nidia Flores' books. Word is Polpo is a hawk. He doesn't let anyone cut any corners. So whether she's skimming from Sueño or not, Nidia's not happy to have Polpo looking into her. The cartel smuggles its profits into Barvechos from Brazil, and then most of that gets laundered through Banco de Barvechos. With Polpo already about to gum up the works, there has to be some way we can use that to sabotage the entire process. Maybe Sueño already believes Nidia Flores has sticky fingers. To know for sure, we need to get hands on Polpo. Our intel places his junior partner and right-hand man, a guy named Wagner, at a silver mine in Barvechos. Grab Wagner and make him cough up Polpo's location. All right, so uh, basically what we're doing here in Barvechos is we are gonna be getting to Polpo. Now, I don't know if you guys can see him. He might be behind my face cam here. But he's one of the five Bucons around Bakita. So we're gonna use Polpo to get to Bakita. Then we're gonna use Bakita to get to the beauty queen, Nydia, his wife. And then we'll use Nydia. She's one of the four main players that El Sueño is close with. So uh, that's pretty cool. But uh, first up, we need to find Wagner in this mine. And hopefully he's going to give us the location of Pulpo. Bowman didn't have any intel on what this guy Wagner looks like. As my soon-to-be ex likes to say, when in doubt, ask someone. I think he left the word motherfucker off the end of that sentence. When it comes to my ex, the motherfucker is implied. <laughs> All right. I got a target carrying submachine well, guns. Well, here we go, guys. Let's Knife go through there. and tag everybody we possibly tango. can. Got a lot of background. Oh, looks like that's our, our guy in there. We want to interrogate the mine that's manager. Five. Got it on. So we're going to want to take everybody out and interrogate this guy. Yo, two cartel gunmen, near the helipad. See? Nice. It says there's somebody right in front of us. The drone is up. Ah, uh, he's over there on the gun. Marking an enemy. Got two guys over there. That's ten Guy targets. down here. Dude, there's so many guys in this area, this isn't even funny. And they want us to take this out without anybody noticing. Moving to position. Let me get a good size on the target. Roger, target acquired. Careful, Sicario sports a submachine gun. There, inside the building. So we'll take out all these guys first. Silver mine over there. Santa Blanca took them all over in this area. Hire Bavetra's Plata to match the digging for them. As far as the miner is concerned, what's the difference between the two? One boss is as bad as another when you're trapped a mile underground. He's history. Got him as well. Nice. Okay. So we're moving up. This is good. Still a lot to go, though. You got a tango right with there. multiple civilians around. Got civilians we don't want to mess with. Oh, of course, there's a guy up in the tower. Ten sighted. A guy over there. Sniper at the gateway. Couple guys Sniper up the top. Gateway. Is there one on this one? Yo, cartel gunman, near the truck. Hmm. Well, we have pretty much everybody in this area scouted here. Um, question is, how do we handle this? I think we've got to get those snipers up top. I think that would be huge for us.
I can get this guy if somebody else gets the other one. Copy. Target marked. Target's marked. Can't anymore. Just say the word. So I'm gonna have them do it for me. I've got the target. Enemy down. Alright. Good work, boys. I don't know where you guys went to to get that guy, but I should have added this guy to that sink shot. Guess it didn't really matter. So we've got a guy up top there. Are we safe to move up here? I don't even know, dude. Oh man, this is getting crazy. We've got to set up some crazy sink shots here. Tango down. Shoot. May have caused an issue here. We still have five guys in the area and we don't... We don't want to warn our guy because he's going to take off and try to get out of here. I think we're good now. I got a narco over here. I kind of want to put the drone back up just to get these guys' movements. Like, this is... Who can we freely take out without any worries? Probably the guy up top of the chopper. Oh, nope. Because our guy's up there now. Destiny in the hands of the farmer, but Vakatari lies. Men like him mm. make their promises, give you hope. Let's try to get inside, I guess. Power, control. We have seen it before, all across the country. There's a guy over here. But Santa Blanca has put your destiny as an individual back in your own hands. This is the reality of today. Not some fantasy of history you have to hope for. It's a hora banda. No political party. No union is around to tell you how to run your life. We have given Bolivia the investment and the jobs that have helped you improve your lives. But Bakatari and his rebels threaten the safety of this way of life. Beaches lobos disfrazados de ovejas. We will do our part. But you must do This is horrifying right now, guys. This could go bad. and his rebels. Report any rebel activity directly to your local Santa Blanca organization. We can toss out the down. Rebel menace. Hold on, they're gonna see. Shit. He's on the run. The LT's making a run for it. Christ, what's our play? Get up top and get the son of a gun. Right here. Silencio, marche. Get him inside, get him inside, get him inside before we interrogate him. Holy cow. All right, we good? You guys, you guys cover me while I get this info. Holy cow. Pupo's boy Wagner or I start shooting off toes. You got some anger issues, wait. But I'll tell you, Wagner was snatched off the street by Nidia's guys. Oh man. So there's some serious stuff going on right now because um Basically their higher ups are fighting against each other. Nidia's fighting against Pupo and hurting his guys is Wagner and all kinds of stuff. So here we go. We've got three minutes and forty two seconds to go save this guy and free him. Oh my gosh, dude, are you kidding me? All right, let's get the chopper and go. It's time to ride out. I was sitting there in the passenger seat wondering why I wasn't taking off. Well, that's the reason why, Trev. My chopper slowly came out. I thought we were playing uh, Gillies in the Mist or something. What do we think? Pull 
Popo's boy snatched by Nidia's crew? I sure as shit don't buy it. I'd say Nidia's got something to lose. She thinks this Wagner guy can help keep it. So we're gonna head down here and try to save this guy. Are there enemies? It's hot with enemies. Just spotted one with submachine guns. All right. Well, that's how we handle business right there, fellas. Land on top of the silo and take everybody out before they even know what hit them. That silencer just paid off. There's a weapons case over here. Cooperate you. total Thank you. Bien. Thank you. But who are you? For now, just know that we're the people keeping you alive. Let's move. All right. Extract Wagner to Barvecho's Charlie. You can do that. I bet they're gonna have people on our trail though. We'll see what happens, but we'll try our best. Go ahead and stow them in here. You guys go ahead and hop in. Who's sitting, uh, sitting bitch? Oh. I guess nobody. All right, we're gonna take the Zeus out of here. This ain't Nidia Flores thinks Pulpo is gonna steal from her. Robarle, por favor. Don't you think you got bigger problems than bitching about... Uh-oh. Got bad guys on our tail. Eyes up. Let's get back to work. This kid, we know. Can you at least tell me who the hell you are? I know you're not Santa Blanca. Now you're concerned. Did Sueño hire contractors again? <laughs> Serio, I have not seen the invoices. Seriously, not your problem. Wait, you work for Pulpo, don't you? Is this over that? Him and his secret account. As his bookkeeper, how am I supposed to track that? Watch out, people. I don't want to run you over. I don't even know why any of this is happening. La verdad is que Nidia shouldn't be scared of us. Se la van a chingar. Not yet, anyway. We haven't even been working on the audit long enough to know if she's stealing. Maybe she's scared of what happens to people who get caught. It's Kate Nita. I'm scared of what El Sueño will do if we don't complete the audit. So yeah, dude. So Sueño's basically his accountant. He's auditing one of his his right hand right hand men, right right hand men, right hand woman. She's a girl. Anyway, it's one of his four most important people in his his whole gang, and he's hiring someone to come auditor. So obviously there's some uh, internal struggles going on here, and things in Santa Blanca aren't all as peachy as expected. That's good news for us, but this could start to get bloody. So we're gonna take him up to a safe house where we can effectively interrogate him the info that we want. And who was it that attacked you? Men who work for Nidia Flores. It was nonsense. They suspect Pulpo of plotting against Nidia. Will you excuse us for a moment? Pulpo and Nidia have it in for each other, huh? We need to use it to our advantage. Make them both think they're stealing from each other. Exactly. Just need to find ways to do that. We'll get back out there. Get some intel we can use to break that relationship. Hey, who did you guys say you were again? <laughs> Popo's cousin, on his mother's side. <laughs> I can see the resemblance, for sure. All right. So, let's get to work on turning these two against each two other. Two people who work for the same man, Nidia and El Pulpo, don't seem to like each other much. They're naturally suspicious of each other and their intentions. We fuel those suspicions and we can get them starting their own little war. All right, this is gonna be our first step to get started, our first piece of intel. Check this out, Nidia buys her makeup online. Does that receipt have a delivery address on it? Why, yes it does. Bet she ordered from a computer at that location. We hack that machine, we can make it look like she's skimming cash. Good idea, let's hit it. 
All it's right. Like Let's do it. So our next objective is going to be all the way up. We've got here. a location on India Flores's personal computer. Hack the PC and get me the beauty queen's dirty little secrets. Let's find out what her uh, incognito browser history looks like. We're in route. Look at this estate, man. Look at this wall surrounding the house. Are you kidding me? The size of this front yard. That is insane. All right. It's got like a lookout tower and everything. Huge enemy encampment right out front. And we're going to go in here. Holy cow, this driveway, bro. My goodness. Absolutely ridiculous. These guys are living large. All right, guys. So we are making our way up to the residence now. And we've got to get that intel off the computer. Okay, so I'm just, I'm going to lay down right here. I'm going to send the drone up. Let's figure out where everybody's at. We just saw a couple. That guy's just chilling in the wall, so I guess he doesn't count. <laughs> oh, we got him now. Um, we've got guys there. Guy back that makes five. There. Guy there. Got a target carrying submachine guns. Enemy marked. Lots of guys all over the place, man. I'm assuming it's gonna be in this house right here. That's where I would do my shopping. Guns. Got a pedestrian over there. Whoa. I got eyes on a big fucking house. Welcome to Shea Beauty Queen. We should drop in and say hello. Bowman says she's in Peru at the moment. Business trip. But a little recon couldn't hurt. We've got a decent amount figured out so far, but we still, I mean, there's still a lot of guys that aren't accounted for yet. And I don't like that at all. I think there's somebody inside this, uh... This building. There's three of them in there. I'm feeling a little bit more confident now. Hostile down. We rattled somebody's cage. How'd they know? All right. You're on to us. Watch out. Time to go live. I'm chill with that. I'm not even that worried about it. I'm gonna locate some skill points. Absolutely, yes, please. And then we're gonna get to our objective. Got helos coming in. Got two guys in armor behind us. He's down. Woo! Looking a little bit weak here, but we're gonna be okay. Tag this for our rebel friends. Oh, frag. Oh my goodness. All these guys are heavily armed, man. He's down. I mean, if you're just gonna camp... That really wasn't as cool as I was hoping it was gonna be. Oh, we just messed that up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let's remove the suppressor. We're also gonna get our grenade launcher out. Just in there. Got 
Got him. That's two. Helo's finished. All right. Grenade launcher off. We're out of ammo right now. Are you serious? What the heck? I went to shoot and we just weren't shooting. All right, we've got more ammo right here. No worries. He's history. All right. Problem taken care of. Sometimes I just guess you just gotta go live. Hit the dirt, helicopter. Not really much else we could have done there. We were being silent, but I guess he heard our suppressed shot. I didn't know they could hear it that well. He's like inside the building looking at his computer and he came out and he knew there was a suppressed shot. This is what I'm guessing is what we need. Oh, look at her back. How self-centered. 50 million dollars from Nidia's accounts to accounts that look like pull posts. It's artless, but it'll get the job done. No, 50 million dollars just like that? Bro, why are that to my account? How about you? Why don't you? I'd be down. All right, anyway. We're going to take this chopper and we are going to get the heck out of here. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. Got a couple more missions here in this province. And uh, we are going to turn these two against each other. This is kind of fun. I feel like we're like, it's like high school gossip. You're like trying to get people mad at each other. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's, it's a little different. So I'm having a good time.